try to focus on just this one thing or try to focus on doing this or I will come save you. Yeah. Whereas like the two mid tiers, they're just trying to play doubles and they both kind of are so close. Yeah. That it's harder for like one to carry the other or something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. And we've got a, we do have a, a full on Pittsburgh match here in quarters. All these players representing PGH. And definitely an interesting character spread on the screen. We'll see how all these different characters interact with each other. I will be honest, I don't actually remember seeing in the past, like, I don't know if I've ever seen a Luigi Peach team in doubles. I'm sure, I'm, obviously it's happened, but I don't remember watching it, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely, I wouldn't be surprised if, like, a Bay had teamed with, uh, with uh, another Peach at some point. Uh, yeah. I mean, Anything maybe like that. Carol. Maybe Carol. Uh, maybe super old school Ambix, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know if a bait like Cave Dweller is the Peach. Super, oh. super old school. Scro's old teammate. I don't know if yeah. they've ever teamed. Yeah, who knows? Can't really think of any other PGH Peaches that they might have, might have teamed with the bait. Yeah. Uh, so, let's see. We've got Lore... Uh, getting it's 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 about even but in a weird way a bait stock tanking a lot for the green team magician Crike keeping about even who unfortunate misses the ledge Dursk. yeah seems like uh lore is just kind of like getting damage you know yeah not like playing super careful the bait's either cleaning it up or just kind of playing it's really like tanky yeah. and i mean that that dynamic can definitely uh work where lore doesn't have to worry about keeping stocks quite as much because the bait is so good at cleaning up and tanking as well that as long as he builds the damage then you know they've got a lead like they do right now yeah also i just realized that this is basically just down smash the team so a lot of the damage that they're getting it feels like maybe the blue team is just trying not to get hit which is kind of a bad position in doubles. Yeah, and I think Falcon can work around that decently, but I feel like that's a big problem for Marth. You know, he doesn't, he isn't able to use the platforms quite as well in teams as he is in singles. Yeah, and also there's the, I mean, Marth could throw out moves also, but then there's there always the risk of like forward smashing your teammate, which is never fun for anybody. Yeah. Except for the other team. I'd say Marth, Marth has to put a lot more on the line, commit a lot more than either Luigi or Peach has to. Yeah. I mean, it's even stock-wise, but Marth is, you could, honestly, you could cough on him and he'll die at this point. Oh, for sure. It's going to be, uh, they are looking for some stray aerials. Um, I will say the one thing about Peach Luigi is that I don't feel like it has amazing kill power. Um, other than just kind of getting, uh, random aerials, but even, like, even then, those ca these characters aren't, like, the best at that. Yeah. Whereas, like, Marth and Falcon both have specifically one move that's really good at, like, that's one of them. Oh. And that's the same one Went again. Went all out. All right. Just like that. Majors should take the stock from Crikey. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Yeah. Build up some 2v1 damage at least before, you know, Crikey probably days are numbered unless they really keep juggling a bait, but it's, it's good to build up twice the damage with a partner before he yeah. dies. I mean, this looks like a hard spot for a bait to be yeah. in. But honestly... Once he kills Crike, it's not that bad. The, whole, uh, the but, hard part is being oh, able to catch him is the thing. Yeah. That misfire helped him out a lot. So you can get another one. Majerski is able to throw out a lot of aerials and protect Crike. And there it is. Yeah, there I see. Uh, game one goes to Majerski and Crike, actually. Yeah. And this is the best of three, so. Ooh, the best of three. It seemed like a bait and lure had it all wrapped up until the very end. Yeah. Like that. That's the thing with doubles, it can turn around so quickly and you can find yourself in such a bind. Especially against an explosive team, I mean, Marth and Falcon seem weird together, but I mean, they both have good kill power, and they, like, Falcon has good aerial movement, and Marth can cover the ground. I mean, against a team like Peach and Luigi, who kind of both floaty, both not the fastest, it kind of actually seems like they could cover a lot more than against other teams. Yeah. Oh, instant replay time. Let's save some replays. That was a good match, you know? Yeah. That was a good match. Save Go it home to and watch it. View it another time. Sit back on your couch, fire up your CRT, play back some melee matches.
relive the good memories. <laughs> At least if you're a magician prank. Uh, choosing to ride back to Battlefield. Uh, melee players love to do this in general. Yeah. Uh, I feel like, well, I feel like Blue Team probably banned Dreamland. And in that case, I don't really know any others. I don't know what other stage would be good for Luigi and Peach also. I mean, they maybe they could have gone for Yoshi's, just hope to like rack up the damage really quick. Um, yeah, but also at the same time, I feel like with the way that Loris is getting a lot of straight hits and Falcon's playing really quickly, it would be hard for a bait to move, and the blue team could like capitalize off of a lot of their straight hits. That is that is true, uh, and yeah, I mean the last game didn't honestly go too poorly for them anyways, so you know going back is not a bad choice. No, I mean, they just have to correct the mistakes that they made last game. It already seems like Laura's off to a better start on his end. He, uh, he kind of went went down in stocks really early last game. So. Yeah. I think that was a big factor. Uh, yeah, staying alive, uh, green team hasn't been able to find a way. Oh, that's smart. Mature's that going good, out there. That's a good up here. Covering all the options. Ooh. Luckily, Crike was there, or else that could have cost him a stock. Yeah. Not have been a good trade this early in the game, honestly. I haven't seen uh, Laura pull a lot of turnips. I don't know. Well, he seems to be pulling more than he did last game, but I just don't really know how affected they're going to be. Yeah, I mean, because uh, especially because Majerus and Crike can cover a lot of range with their characters, so it's hard to even find the space. And then getting away from them to use it effectively is, like, not the best. Yeah, Ooh. especially when you have a Luigi, your teammates wave dash him back and forth. And just like that, though, it's even up. It's crazy. Very even. It's kind of the same thing that happened last game. The green team is up, and then out of nowhere, blue team kind of just explosively evened it up. Yeah, but let's see how the second half of this match plays out. Yeah, we'll see if it's a repeat, or, I mean, green team could clean it up and take it this time. Ooh! That's gonna be. That's a big swing. Getting yeah, that tipper. Definitely. Oh no. Momentum okay. Seems to be a blue team's favorite right now. Yeah. Green team might be sweating a little bit. Oh, that's a good down smash. With the green team. I try and get out of the corner. Ooh, and they managed to do it with a knee from Lore. Gonna make it back, of course, but not without taking a good bit of damage, which is honestly really important. Uh, Unfortunate that he hit his teammate there, but uh, this is honestly gonna be bad if Lore dies before a bait and uh, takes a stock. The bait's right there with him, and then I don't know how well Lore will be able to handle the one v two. Ooh. Uh, All right. And uh, uh, Laura's dead, uh, yeah, definitely. Okay. Now it's a big uphill battle for a bait. Bigger gap than last time. Yeah. Yeah, I think the hard thing here is just going to be having two characters with good kill power mm -hmm. and a lot of good aerials just yeah. coming at you. They can just juggle between each other, like, very well. And then, like, like last game where, you know, e even with Crikey at high percent, they just had to rack on the damage real quick. Ooh, the slide off back air, though. Now, if Abe can take the smart stock, this might be doable. Oh yeah, but that's the—it's the same position as last game. Only he's starting out even more behind, so he's got to make something work. Get that first opening. Oh, Ooh, he managed to like get down, game. but yep, gets tippered. Good game. Majerskin Frank into winners top eight. You know, watching them play together, the way that they were able to like swing the momentum and thinking about it, how close they were to both being 10 on the PR, it's almost as if two pros got the team. 